Welcome to another edition of the Psychor PowerShell Extensions Training Series. Hi, I'm Michael West. Today I'd like to talk about publishing. Uh, there are really two ways that I'd like to talk about today. One is using the Psychor API under Psychor Task and using the extension method Publish Item. And as always, if you'd like to download the Psychor PowerShell Extensions module, you can get it from the following URL. Check out our blogs and contact us directly. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the PowerShell ISC. Now if you recall from last time, uh, and once again I'm sorry about the last two videos being so long, uh, they were about you know, 10 or 18 minutes long, it's just a lot of content to cover and uh, I hate to spread it out over a ton of videos. So uh, the first thing I'd like to do is look into the Sitecore API and figure out how to use the publishing agent. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into the jetbrains.peak. This is a lot like uh, .NET Reflector. Uh, it's free, um, whereas the .NET Reflector uh, now, since it's been developed by Redgate, it's paid, so I don't want to mess with it anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the Sitecore kernel and look for the Sitecore task namespace. and the publishing agent. And as I can see here, there's a few different things I can work with. Uh, run, which will run the agent. Uh, and I can create a new instance of publish agent with a couple parameters. Uh, let me expand it real quick. So we can see that to create a new instance of publish agent requires to know the source, the target database, what mode you want to publish in and which languages and then simply running the run command so I'd like to do that uh, now the question is well how does one do that in PowerShell uh, it's going to be a lot like C sharp uh, the syntax is going to be uh, you know like what we showed in the last video but spider variation so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new instance of the publish agent. So the first thing is I create a new variable called publisher or publish agent, whatever you like. And we're going to use the new object command. So um, highlight it real quick, control enter. Uh, we can see that new object takes in a type name and an argument list which accepts an array of objects. So um, to be more clear, in brackets, type name, this indicates that this is a positional parameter and type name is not required. Uh, the brackets indicate something that is optional. However, string is not encased in square brackets, so it's required. Whereas the argument list uh, argument list as a parameter is optional and then argument list with the um, argument is optional uh, and I can also use the, the one below but in this particular case we're not working with common objects so we're going to ignore that so we're going to create a new object with a type name uh, that refers to the publish agent and I'm going to have to pass in some objects for the uh, constructor and let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to create a new object with a type name of Sitecore Task Publish Agent. And just to show you what it looks like if I didn't pass in the parameters, constructor was not found, cannot find appropriate constructor for the publish agent. So as we saw here, uh, these are required so I'm gonna do that now do argument list and I want it to go from the master to the web I want to do smart publish in the English language um, as we saw in the help let me jump back to it argument list accepts an array of objects so uh, 
if you recall from last time, an array can be a comma-separated list, which is what I've done here. Now that I've instantiated that new publisher, I can do publisher.run, and this would run the publishing agent. So let's see what that looks like. If I execute that now, and if I jump into my tree, uh, you'll see that I have item one with no text, item two with no text. And if I open up Internet Explorer and refresh it, there are no longer any, um, any text in there. So let me change that real quick. Save it, go back to the ISC, execute, open up IE, and refresh. Now we have publish agent. Simple. So I, I, I like this. This is great. However, there's also a built in method within the Sitecore PowerShell extensions. Uh, I want to go ahead and comment this out using the hash symbol. And now let's uh, experiment with PowerShell to get the items that I want and then we'll publish. First thing I'll do is get child item. And the path will be under the master. If I run, run it under home, we'll see that item one and item two are returned. And you can use uh, whatever filtering you'd like. However, I want to do a smart publish under everything under content. So I'll remove this. And if I do recurse, we'll get home, item one, item two. And you could click on one of these and it would open that item directly in the content editor. So I know what items I want. And if I pipe that to publish item, and let me make a change in the tree real quick. So save. Now that's complete. Go to the second tab, publish item. Pretty straightforward. You get child item for the following path or content. Oh. And it'll do everything under here. And then use the recurse parameter, which is a switch, and that will return all the items recursively. Therefore, it expands the home item and you pipe that to publish item. If we review the help for publish item, you'll see that it accepts an item or a path and, or an ID. And yeah, so that's all we need to know. We could change the publish mode to uh, full, which would be a bad idea, or a single item. If you wanted to publish uh, item one, for example, or item two, then you could do that. And then the path or the ID you specify would be for item two. Pretty simple. And that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us through Twitter or comment on the post. Thanks, and see you next time.